Next is a plank hold. We're going to hold a plank, balancing on the forearms with the fingers interlaced. And the challenge is, is to work yourself up to holding for four minutes. That by no means is easy. So even for myself, I find that highly challenging. So it's good to start to challenge yourself by doing one minute, and then you can build up to two, three, ultimately up to four. When four minutes becomes easy, you can do several sets of four. So when we hold the plank, it's very strengthening for the upper body, the upper back, as well as the core. And when we hold the plank, it's important that we engage the legs and then we draw the feet together, okay? So I'll go ahead and demonstrate how we do this. So I'm gonna come down on the forearms, interlace the fingers, if you feel it's challenging to keep the feet together, you can open them hip width apart as well. And then we want to point the tailbone toward the heels and really draw in through the lower belly, slightly lifting the chin. And when I'm holding the plank, I want to energize the legs and feel as if I'm pushing the floor away as I push the forearms into the floor. And it's very important to breathe when it starts to get very challenging, it might be a good idea to distract yourself a little bit so you don't feel the pain of holding this. <laughs> but it's highly conditioning and very, very strengthening. Good. So again, holding up to, or challenge, challenging yourself to hold up to four minutes, but starting with one and then when that becomes easy, building up one minute at a time. 